from what I've been told and what I've learned so far and how I was able to catch this unique walleye um, using the jig head one five seven ounce number four aught um, with a six inch purple worm some people use four inch some people use you know smaller profiles um, I think you might some people think or say that if you use smaller stuff you get more bites um, so you catch more trophies and more fish but um, which may be true but I like to just uni hunt so I like to use as you'll see in my other tutorials I like to use big big um, hooks and stuff so but yeah I was able to catch this as you can see off of a one five seven ounce four aught jig head with a, a six inch purple worm um, and it is 8.47 now, but I caught him around 8.40ish on a partly cloudy day. Um, but what I have here, uh, sunny days, I don't even know from what I've, I'm, and again, these tutorials I'm sharing with you is, is what I find out. Once I catch a unique, I make a tutorial on how I'm catching them. And once I can, you know, once I'm confident that I can definitely catch uniques, um, I end up doing this to share with you guys. But for, as of right now, Sunny days, I'm not sure when the uni time period is for walleye on, on Lake Michigan. If anybody knows, share it in the comments, please. Um, let us know, because as of right now, I don't know if it's even possible. Um, but from what I've been told, otherwise, um, daytime stuff, if it's cloudy out, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, if it's partly cloudy, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then again, raining, somebody told me 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. I tried that th this morning on this actual day before I fast forward to 7 p.m. Um, and I did not get a unique fishing that. But the bite was fast and I got a lot of uniques or a lot of trophies. Sorry, no uniques, though. My first unique was was the one you just saw. Um, but I was able to, like I said, catch it the first day trying. So somebody also um, again, I've, I've been having people help with this a lot. And um, one of my uh, one of my buddies, pork chop, actually I think is the one that shared that buoy. He caught a unique right in that spot, and that's actually where I've been casting the entire time, just to see if I could catch one myself. And I, as you guys saw, I did. So where this is though, this is the um, the floating platform out here. You just take your kayak over here, um, come up on here, and uh, you could see like when you get up, I think you're like facing like this or something. I don't know. Either way, on the right hand side over here. Um, you can see there's a rock, the big rock over there on the left side and a, and a rock on the right. From what I've been told, um, and that you can see that tree, the biggest tree, from that area to that area is where you, you, you want to be favoring your casts. Um, and again, I just favored this buoy because somebody marked it for me and, and um, I just figured that that would be one of the quickest ways to get bit. And you can see where that is. That's on the, the right side of that big rock. And I'm casting literally as far as I can cast. And I'm doing a lift drop technique. Um, so you, I cast it out there like so, let it drop to the bottom. And wait for it to drop. Sometimes you snag over here, um, catch shells or whatever. We'll see if it does it this time. The slow sinks. Sometimes you'll get bit on that drop right there. But once it hits the bottom, I just hold right click um, to. And the the beauty of this, if you've seen my Emerald Lake tutorial, it's the same thing. Same same way I was slaughtering. Um, you can't catch uniques out in Emerald Lake, but you can catch trophies, and you level really really fast doing it as a low level. Um, same same type. I had real speed three, and um, I just hold right click up to hold my rod up. Um, and, and I'll tap one time on real speed three and you can see it bounces it off the bottom. But the, the best part about this is it automatically sets hooks for you. Um, super easy way to fish them, um, super effective. And um, I've been able to get bit quite a lot with, uh, with doing this. So real speed three, bounce it off the bottom just like I'm doing with the lift drop, holding right click. Soon as you, um, as soon as you get bit, it automatically sets the hook and you simply reel it in. My rod and reel though is definitely overkill for this. I just used it because it was the only thing I had on me that could cast effectively with that heavy of a jig. Um, but uh, this, this is definitely not the ideal setup if you're trying to, to level anyways and get experience off of these fish out here. But um, yeah, as you can see, it, it works. And uh, I 
think that's all you guys really need to know. Again, if somebody knows the sunny days for the uh, walleye bite, please share it with us in the comments. And um, good luck to everybody that tries to catch them. Oh, there he got bit. Little guy. <laughs>